You've probably seen the sword in the basket trick a thousand times. Now we're going to show you how it's done. Our assistant brings out the basket and gets ready to climb inside. The magician claps his hands to signal the beginning of the illusion. First the assistant is covered with a black curtain. You'll find out why in a minute. The magician pushes the assistant down into the basket. The lid is put in place and the swords are brought out. They are not fakes. They are real swords and they are very sharp. He drives the swords all the way through the basket. It seems that they are cutting into our assistant. But if that were true, not even Fox would show you that. Notice the artistry. He makes it appear as if he's plunging the swords right into his assistant. It now seems that there are too many swords in the basket for anyone to survive. One by one, the magician removes the swords from the basket. No blood. That's always a good sign. Once the swords are removed, the magician covers the basket with a black curtain. Then he steps inside. This is to try to convince you that the basket is empty. If you're wondering what happened to our assistant, you're about to find out. The magician steps out of the basket and... What's this? Could it be... Yes, it's our lovely assistant, without a scratch on her. How did our assistant avoid becoming a human shish kebab? Actually, this is one of the easiest tricks. No smoke or mirrors required. First, while covered with the black curtain, our assistant makes it appear as if she's having a tough time fitting inside the basket. However, without the curtain, we can see that she's merely spreading her arms to create the illusion of size. There's actually plenty of room for her inside. Once she's in position, the lid is put in place. Back inside the basket, the assistant waits for the swords. Now for the blades. Remember, these swords are very sharp. With our mini camera, we can see that the assistant knows exactly where the swords are going and helps guide them safely through the basket. There's no room for error. One wrong move could result in serious injury. Now the final sword. Look how close it comes to stabbing our assistant. Once all the swords are put in place, the process is reversed and the swords are carefully removed. This is also very dangerous. Our assistant has to protect herself from the swords as they are pulled out of the basket. The magician covers the basket again. Then he steps inside, making it appear that it's empty. In reality, our assistant simply shifts her body to create enough room to accommodate our magician's feet and legs. Here's another look from our mini camera. See, there's plenty of room. The magician steps out of the basket. Now with the curtain back on, the assistant emerges from the basket and magically reappears, unharmed. So the next time you see this trick performed, you'll know how they did it. <laughs>